so let us see one more problem that is how to delete an element from front of your circular link list so circular link list we have like this so where your head pointer will point to the last node in circular link list and this will be your first node okay and last node that is head node will point back to the first node so now let us try to delete a delete from front so which is the first node front means what is the node front means first node first node yeah. in the link list as i said h is pointing to the last node yeah. so <coughs> this will be our front node so last node will point back to the first node what is the first node now here this one this one will be the first node so right. that first node equals to how how you can get the reference to that node h next if i say h next this is h h next is nothing but this node right. so now we have to delete this node first node so our, right. our routine is delete front Right. Front node reference we got. Now we have to delete this node. Yeah. Okay. Once you delete, your link list should should be like this. Your head now after deletion. Okay. That node will not be there. Okay. First this node this node will not be there. So then remaining nodes are, for example, yeah. these are one, two, three, and four. so one node will not be there after removal so your first node would be 2 so your last node that is 4 should point back to second node that's what second. we need after removing the first node yeah so, uh, it's reverse to the uh, insertion in front the loops will be altered okay let us see that so so p equals to if i say h next that's what we have done yeah okay so this is p this is step 1 get the reference to not to be deleted okay once no. this is removed uh, once you are going to remove this your h should point to not this node it should point to the next node means second node so right. if i say h next equals to p next so what will happen then so i am saying h next equals to p next right so this is step 2 right okay so now you can remove remove your node P equals to null. This is third step. Means P is this one. You can remove this. Remove the third step. Mm. Okay. So once this first node is removed, mm. okay, our link list will be two, three, four, where your head would be pointing to the last node four. Right. Okay. Our link list is now two, three, four. So now, right. if I remove second node also, so how to, will this code work? First step is p. P equals to h next. H is now here. H next is my p. Correct. So p will be here. Okay. Right. So next, this is step one. Right. Step two is h next equals to P next, P is this one. P next is this one. So P next is this. So H next equals to P next. Right. So this is step two. So this link is removed now, overwritten by this link. Okay. Right. So then remove P. Right. Remove this. Okay. Right. Now 
one more time i want to remove this three also will it mm. work p equals to h next okay mm. and h next equals to p next this is p p next means again self flow mm. remove this so i have only one node now in my linked list so if mm. i want to remove this p equals to h next so h is this one and h next is also same node right okay h next equals to p next h next equals to p is again same node p next mm. p equals to no. so we need to but you can't make it uh, yeah. ah so that we need to take care yeah okay so this is exception condition is if h next equals to h means only one node case mm. what you have what you have to write what you have to write equal to h is the same thing like uh, if i say h equals to not explicitly hmm? you can't make it um, uh, none p equals to h next h next okay. and if h next equals to h next uh, h then just update this just update yeah okay or else okay. equal to p next combining yes. together both the uh, cases else p equals to h next this is already done mm. okay uh. h next equal to p next h next equals to P next. P next. P next. Ah. Uh. And P equal to null. And P equals to null. Yes. So P equals to for this. P equals to H next. Ah. Uh. So P equals to null. Ah, uh, that we don't need to make H equal to null, right? The if H next equal to H. Uh, we should we should remove we, it. We we are removing this. Mm. We are removing this. You are just setting h equals to null. That's it. Uh, but the last node is last and first node are same, right? We should not be setting it to null also. No, no. Our intention is to remove this node. Routine. So in Java, just setting uh, that h equals to null will be sufficient. Oh, finally, we'll remove that single node also. Yeah, yeah, that's what the last case is about. So this function is it function itself is to remove each node. Okay, delete, then, delete then, and node. the remaining two steps won't be there because the segmentation issue will occur. Yeah, that's why we have written separate separate okay. condition for one node case. Right. Okay, and yeah, and. Separate condition for rest of the cases. This is one node case. This is for others. And one more thing we have to write. We have to take care is here. If H itself null, then accessing H next will be segmentation. So one more condition you have to write. That is, we have to check initially if H equals to null. Avoid yeah, that. No node is no node is there in your linked list. Yeah. Okay, and stop stop deletion. So let us write the token void. So delete friend from your circular linked list. So three cases which we listed out. One is if Your head itself null. So then return. So not no need to do anything. Just come out of your routine. Else, if head dot next at least one node is there equals to head, and this is the case with only one node case. So. After deletion, you have to set your linked list back to empty position. Head equals to 
No, that's what I'm doing here. Else, mm -hmm. okay. Take a reference. So node P. Okay. So this is node P. So what are the cases? What is the last case here? P equals to